Yo, what up? It's your boy, Mr. E, and we are moving on to our new topic, which is one of my favorite topics. It's financial literacy. Um, I love financial literacy because there's money everywhere in the world, and there's a lot of math that goes along with it. So um, I'm very excited to get this topic started. Um, the first bit of um, things we're going to learn this week is actually about taxes, which is the most fun thing about being an adult. So just you wait. When you become an adult, taxes are going to be really, really awesome. I'm totally kidding. They are not very awesome, but they are interesting to learn about for sure. And I just want to say that I am no pro when it comes to financial literacy. Some of your parents probably know a whole lot more about taxes than I do. So I highly recommend after you take some notes on taxes, you have a conversation with your mom or dad about this because it's truly interesting stuff. Okay. So first thing we have is the definition of income tax. Now financial literacy is filled with lots and lots of vocabulary. So I would really appreciate it if you paused the video, wrote down the, the definition uh, in your journal or on a piece of paper so that you can know these words a little bit better. So it says income tax. Income tax is the tax or levy paid on the money that a person or business receives as income. Um, the one way I remember income tax is income tax is that thing that your parents are always talking about that's due April 15th. Okay, so we usually use a service like TurboTax or um, you know H and R and other things like that um, to do our taxes, um, and they they have to be turned in by April fifteenth. However, fun fact is this year it's been pushed back to July fifteenth because of the COVID nineteen stuff going on. Okay, so I just want to talk a little bit about income tax. Okay, so think about your own family. Your own family, your mom or dad probably has a job. Um, but they don't have all the jobs in the world, like being a teacher, being a doctor, um, providing food, um, defense, all those other things, okay? So what taxes do is it actually pays for workers like that. So as you can see in the picture, there's lots of public servants, um, and that's that money that we pay for taxes help pay those type of people. So me as a teacher, I get paid through income tax. Um, also, our government officials get paid through income tax as well. Um, and I know it might seem like sometimes like the government does some crazy things, but the government actually is there to help us and protect us and, and represent us, unless they're a little bit like Emperor Palpatine. Hmm. So there's two types of income tax. There is a federal income tax and a state income tax. So we have to pay two different types of income tax. One to our country, to like our country's government, so the federal government, and we also pay one to the state government as well. However, we live in the great state of Texas, so we don't have to worry about state income tax. That is something that we don't pay at all. Um, we do get kind of docked in other taxes, so it's not all great, but we do not have to worry about state income tax in Texas, okay? Now, the way we figure out how much taxes we owe is by the different tax brackets we have, okay? So there's a little table here that shows you like what your tax bracket is based on how much you earn, whether you're unmarried, you're married, or you're head of households. Um, those are the different tax bracket rates, okay? So on average, we spend somewhere in the 20 to 30% range, um, unless you make a lot more money or you make littler money. Um, but the more money you make, the higher your tax bracket is going to be and the higher percentage of your income is going to be paid towards taxes. Um, now, you don't want to just try to make as little money as possible so you don't have taxes. If you make more money, you'll obviously be making a lot of money. But um, there's also things like deductions and um, tax credits and things like that that can help it where you don't have to owe as many taxes. Um, your taxes for income tax actually just come straight out of your paycheck. It's something for me, I see what I would make if I didn't have those taxes and those taxes get deducted and then I get what I really get. So if I set up my taxes correctly, um, I should pay that every paycheck. And then when we get to April 15th, I won't owe anything. But sometimes you owe a little bit. Sometimes you do get a little bit of a refund. It's a little complicated, but basically on the 15th, everybody either receives a little bit of money back from the government or they pay a little bit of money to the government. Now, if you do owe income taxes, um, the IRS is something that is going to be tracking that kind of stuff and they're looking to get something from you. And if you don't pay your taxes by the due date, 
uh, you can get a tax penalty, and those are no bueno. Um, it's basically where they put interest on the tax that you owe, and it becomes a lot more money than you owed in the first place. So you definitely don't want to wait. You want to get those taxes paid as soon as possible so that you do not have to worry about that, okay? All right, so let's take a look at a word problem that we would see like on a common like a CFA or uh, Education Galaxy or maybe the star test, even though we don't have to worry about that this year. So it says Whitney pays federal income tax. So for me, that's something that's really important. Federal income tax of $13 on every $100 she earns. So how much federal income tax will she pay on earnings of 900? So we definitely need this $13, that's gonna be important. Definitely need the $100, okay? And this $900 is gonna be important too. Now, the way that I think of this is I think of this kind of like fractions, okay? And we're going to want to make an equivalent fraction, okay? So she pays $13 for every 100. And this is actually how per cents work, okay? Per cent means per every 100. Cent, century, it means 100, okay? So we're trying to look for an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 900, but we don't necessarily know how much the numerator is going to be. So I'm gonna put a variable there for x, okay? So what we would need to do is find out a number that we could multiply by 100 to get to 900. And I think that's pretty uh, easy to see is that we would just multiply that by nine. So 100 times nine would get us 900. So if we do that to the denominator, we definitely need to do that to the numerator as well, okay? Now, you might not know 13 times nine off the top of your head, so it's always great to come back and do a standard algorithm. So 13 times nine, remember we stack the number with the more, most digits at the top. Nine times three would get us 27, one times, Nine is nine plus two is 11. So what we could see is that instead of X, we would write nine or 117. So one, no, I don't want the eraser. There we go, 117. So how much federal income tax will she pay for Earnings of $900, she'll be paying $117. So she won't get all 900 of those dollars. She will get 900 minus 117 because she's going to be paying 117 to the, the government. Now, 13 out of 10, that means that she has a 13% tax rate, which if we remember from the tax bracket um, table that we saw earlier, that's a bit lower. So it makes sense that if she only makes $900, then her tax, rack, or tax rate would be a little lower, okay? So I hope you were able to learn a thing or two about income taxes. Remember, I am not the pro when it comes to financial literacy. Your parents probably know a lot more about taxes than I do. I would highly recommend that you sit down and have a conversation with them about this, okay? I hope this helped. We love you, we miss you a lot, and we'll see you later, bye. Yo, what up, it's your boy, Mr. E. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about payroll tax. So yesterday we learned a little about, about income tax, which is taxes that get taken out of your paycheck. Payroll tax is also another form of tax that gets pay, taken directly out of your paycheck. So let's dive right in. So here's the definition. And like I said, these are really, really important vocabulary words for you guys to learn. So I would recommend pausing the video and writing this down somewhere. But a payroll tax is uh, the tax or levy that is paid by a company based on the amount of money that the company spends paying all of its employees. So payroll taxes are something that employers or like the bosses or owners of companies pay, but it's also something that employees or the workers of a company pay as well. They help pay for things like social security and Medicare taxes, which is a part of FICA. Um, kind of complicated, won't get too deep into that, but those are the things that payroll tax help pay, okay? So, like I was saying, payroll tax is something that automatically comes out of your paycheck, so it's not something you have to worry about like paying at the end of the month or on the 15th of April. It'll come out automatically and it helps pay for things like Social Security and Medicare. And you might wonder, what are those two things, Social Security and Medicare? Those are things that help pay for benefits of people that are older or people with disabilities, um, that might need a little extra money to get some benefits. And you know, we all love our elderly. They're all so awesome and so cool. That'd be so cool if my grandma and grandpa looked like that. 
but yeah, so they help pay for the benefits that help for like retirement, for medical insurance, um, for disabilities, for things like that for our older generation. Um, the percentage of tax that you pay on your payroll tax is 6.2% for Social Security and 1.45% for Medicare. Um, and the cool thing is, is that this is split in half with the employee and the employer. So 6.2% is paid by the employee, 6.2% is paid by the employer. 1.45% is paid by the employee, 1.45% is, uh, is bleh, losing my words here, 1.45% is paid by the employer as well. So it's a pretty sweet deal because you split it in half with your boss, um, but that does kind of stink for people that are self-employed because if you're self-employed, then you'll have to pay double because you're not only the employer, but you're the employee. So think about kind of your favorite YouTuber, they're self-employed, so they kind of get hit double with these taxes. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, dude, perfect. That is tax evasion. You can't just run out like that. Ugh. We'll hopefully get them next time. All right, so let's take a look at a problem that has to do with payroll taxes, okay? So there's a guy named Fred, and he makes $4,600 each month. And Fred is rich. I wish I made that kind of money. On his pay stub, he has to pay $356 to payroll taxes. Seems like a lot, but that's what us adults get hit with every pay stub. How much money does he earn after paying his payroll tax, okay? So we know that his total is 4,600. That's what he's getting paid on his pay stub, okay? But we know he has to pay $356 to payroll taxes. So we're gonna need to subtract that from the total that we had, because it's after we pay it. Before we pay it, we make $4,600, or Fred makes that much money, but after we pay it, we've gotta do that 3, 356. So I can't subtract six from zero, so I can go next door and borrow, can't borrow from zero, so I'm gonna go over here and borrow from six. This will change into a nine, and this will change into a 10. So 10 minus six will get us four, Nine minus five will also get us four. Five minus three will get us two. And four minus zero will get us four. That's a lot of fours. So after he pays his payroll tax, he will still earn $4,244, which is still a lot of money. Um, this kind of gets into the concept of gross and net income, which we'll be talking a little bit more about next week. But our gross income is what we start with, okay? our net income is what money we have left over after taxes, okay? So again, we'll dive deeper into that next week, but just know that payroll taxes kind of have a difference but, or have something to do with gross and net income, okay? So hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Hopefully you know a little bit more about payroll taxes. Again, I am not the expert when it comes to this stuff. Your parents know a lot about these types of taxes. I would encourage you to have conversations with them about the different types of taxes and what it takes to pay those types of things and what they're used for. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. We love you, we miss you a lot, and we'll see you later. Bye.